Oh, we're live. <laughs> sounds like we're live, McKenna. All right. Well, we're back here on the Tuesday of Thanksgiving week, heading into Black Friday, Cyber Monday, a big e-commerce weekend. And today, McKenna, you're going to show us how to manage and automate your email marketing campaigns for the busy holiday season. Yeah, definitely helps to get ahead when you are coming up on the holidays as quickly as we are now. <laughs> yeah, it seems like for a lot of small business owners, they're you know, feeling a bit like, and not only because it's 2020, um, but also that just it's busy time, you know, online online retail, they've had to really pivot this year. Um, maybe, maybe more of their sales are coming online, a majority of their sales are coming online or happening online. So email, uh, we've seen a big increase in the number of people sort of asking about email marketing. But I think a lot of folks have that misconception that it requires a lot of day, day-to-day -day sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, but hopefully you can help uh, alleviate some of their <laughs> some of their concerns. Mythbusters edition. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier than you think, I promise. <laughs> cool. Oh, so I will go ahead and share my screen. Are you seeing that? Yeah, we got it. Cool. Okay, so just really quickly, I want to go over the Black Friday, a Cyber Monday email campaign that we set up for one of our clients. Um, up to, it's a clothing company, so they do a lot of online sales, especially surrounding um, this big kind of sale event. So Black Friday, Cyber Monday is happening at the end of this week and the beginning of next week, and we are done with everything we need to do for their email. We finished last week. We knew it was going to be a really busy week, and it took me, um, you know, an afternoon to get this all set up and in place. And now I just don't even have to think about it as the big sale rush comes. Yeah, that's really nice. So you're able to schedule it, you know, a certain day and a certain time. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you segmented? Also, does that just happen in Shopify, or what? What services do you use for the those segmented emails? Yeah, absolutely. So just kind of an overview of the campaign in general. Um, we start out with, you know, a couple of announcements. And then as the campaign goes on, the days go on, we just do a couple of reminders. And then towards the end, it's more of like a last chance to get the deal. Um, so how we segment that out is we integrate with Shopify, which is really easy to set up. Um, you only have to do it one time and then it's linked to your account until you remove it. Um, and as the time goes on, we can look at an example here. Um, for the segmentation, I use purchase activity. As long as they haven't purchased within the last three days for this email, they will get it. So anyone that's purchased in the last three days is kicked off of our email chain because we can assume that they've already cool. shopped the sale. Yeah, that you can, and they're not purchasing and getting another email saying, hey, you should purchase. And that, that's sort of annoying uh, as a consumer. Yeah, absolutely. So with all of these emails that we have set up for the entire campaign, there are six of them. And ideally, if you've already shopped the campaign, you'll drop off immediately. So we have it set up that once you purchase, you're off. You're not going to keep getting emails to remind you after you've already purchased. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. The The segmenting feature is great. So what percentage of people on average do you see purchasing from an email? Is it 3%? Is it so are you sending um, that first email goes out to 100% of the list? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's segmented, you know, based on gender or based on interest. But in this case, the sale announcements going out to everybody with a pretty broad message. But then that next message is, you know, do you lose 5% of your list for that next message? Or what would you what would you estimate there? Yeah, I would estimate for a sale like this, because this is a bigger sale, we'll probably lose about five to seven percent um cool. generally it might be close to three to five um but just because this is kind of a bigger one they'll drop off a little bit yeah. uh, in higher increments um cool. this is probably their biggest sale of the year so it's a big deal <laughs> yeah and i've also seen automations mckenna that you set up that work similarly but say you know if you didn't open the first email you get the second email if you mm -hmm. didn't open emails one and two you get the third so that if you've yeah. opened it, you've seen the message, you know, you have time to digest, okay, do I want to make the sale or do I want to, you know, am I interested in that event, for example? Mm -hmm. But I think there's a lot of cool ways that small business owners can use email automation to free up their time. Yeah. And we have kind of a generic design template that was designed for this sale that has a couple of different content blocks we can pop in and out as the emails go on. So it was a one-time design. Um, and then a one-time kind of setting everything up 
and just coming up with different subject lines and scheduling it all out. Um, so it really only took about an afternoon to get it all ready and going. And now it'll just, um, it'll just be automated for the rest of the week as the sale continues. So it's yeah, very easy. Awesome. It's just off our plates now. That's great. And that's the world of digital marketing in 2020 is <laughs> better and let the metrics do, do what they do best. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we also got ahead on Facebook ads um, as much as possible, just to try to make it as easy as possible as yeah, time goes on. <laughs> We're working in a Google ads account that, um, we're like enabling a bunch of ads at midnight on Friday or on <laughs> Thursday and then turning them off on Monday at midnight. So yep. lots of automations going on so that you can spend time with your family and not have to worry about pausing ads or sending emails, which is always nice. Yeah, absolutely. And with the um, integrating your MailChimp with your Shopify, you can also see the revenue generated from your email almost in real time as it comes through. So it's really fun to see um, the, the, product of yeah. your labor on that one. Right, you can get notifications on your phone if you want. Yeah. Although that's <laughs> the purpose of automating things so that you can unplug. <laughs> but, but it is fun to see the revenue come in. That is really fun. That's, yeah, that's the fun great. part. <laughs> cool. Well, that was a really good look at, you know, how you can use Shopify plus MailChimp to automate your holiday marketing campaign. So, thanks McKenna. Yeah, absolutely. Easy enough. <laughs> yeah, have a good uh, have a good rest of your day. I know we're hammering away here when it feels like Kind of the rest of the world is taking the taking the week off, but here yeah. we are. <laughs> We're putting no days off, putting the work in. Well, we get days off. Come on, <laughs> it's a, it's a right. mental state. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay. okay. Talk Thanks to you later. Yeah. <laughs>